Hey everybody, how's it all going? Got a lovely sunny, windy day here. Um, today's project is, yeah, get this engine out. So it's not gonna be a very long video, I don't think, but I've said that before and it's ended up being an hour. So <laughs> we'll see how we go. Well, I won't dilly-dally too much. We'll just get stuck into it and pull the front end, what's left of the front end out of it and bell housing bolts and then she's ready to come out. So yeah, there's no point waffling about it. We'll just get stuck into it. So there's only three frame rail bolts each side. Oh, Already made sure they were going to come undone, so... Now, I don't know how heavy this front end is going to be, but I assume it's not going to be light. Mm, that bolt's not great. Yeah, a couple of them are not exactly the best, but oh well. It's a good thing they're only going to be spares. Yeah, if I'm correct in saying so, yeah, this should. Oh, I was right. That is bloody heavy. Hooly dooly. Alright, that's one bit. I'm going to turn the camera off while I manhandle that out of the way because that's not going to be something you want to see. I'll bring you back in a sec. <sighs> Alright, back again. Now, here's the setup. <laughs> that's only really there to get it off the motor and on the ground mainly it's not going to roll very well on this but it's worked before so now I just pull some bolts out get the pry bar and see if it'll move uh, hopefully it's not going to be a massive ordeal but yeah well, well see problem with these you don't know about these old tractors once you get in there you've got no idea what people have done or get that out of the way. what things await you which are finding out quite a lot with this tractor <laughs> she's had a had a rough life come on don't fight me I think that clips for a maybe the fuel line or something. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to have a look into that. I'm pretty sure that's gone off the other one. So that'd be a nice piece to put back on it. Go in there. Now this is what I'm talking about. Every time you look at this thing you find something else. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Someone's been welding on that fuel tank there. So yeah, that's the issue. Everything's had a hard life. But it doesn't matter, it'll make a good donor engine hopefully for the other one. This thing's obviously not great. This is that bolt that's hanging out. So I'd say they've tightened it up until it stopped and then just gave up. This bolt's actually too long. Maybe. It's not really an issue at the moment. One more under here. Probably just see inside that belt pulley, sorry about that. It's not really glamorous work, I might edit some of this out. Get to the 
the interesting stuff. Top. I'm gonna leave these ones to last. A few lines right in the way. Let's see if we can get rid of that and make life a bit easier. Can't remember what size is that. wind noise comes through this camera it's starting to get a bit blowy so you just have to believe me you can't hear it very well Where to put the other spanner? Oh, yeah, down there. ones. Very nice. Alright, I might turn this camera off and get the rest of the bolts out because this is going to be boring as batshit, so I'll bring you back in a sec. Alright, back again. Well, one last bolt. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, breaking away already. promising. Also means that we're going to have to put a bit more pressure on the crane. Oh, what am I doing? Bolt, bolt buckets there. There we go. turn them back now. Alright. <sighs> um, where's 
is going to be the best place to sit you guys because this is going to take a bit of man handling I reckon um, all right I'll get you set up somewhere and I'll be back That's off. Now we can get it on the ground, which will make me feel a lot better. This is not exactly the most stable way to do this. Now if I swing that around that way, we can pull the clutch off. Just leave it there. Have a look, see what we're dealing with. Get you guys down and have a look in here. Alrighty. Ooh, that's nasty. That looks like fresh gearbox oil, so I don't think there's much gearbox oil in this, so that'd make a lot of sense. That doesn't look good. Pilot bearing, maybe? Hmm. That's not good. Alright. Okay, dropping stuff. Alrighty. Well, that doesn't look too bad. It's a fair bit of wear on these little. I suppose they're the adjusters. Yeah, that one looks like. Hang on. Is that supposed to be cracked? Oh no, they're all like it. They'll seem worse. I seem better. Right. I'll start pulling some bolts out of this and when I pull it off, I'll bring you back. All right, should just about ready to come off. And before you ask, yes, that is three quarter to half to three eighth, but it works. Oh. That's got a bit of gravity in it. Oh. Washer. Ooh. They've had a hard time. Clutch dust, so the clutch is probably howdy doody. Alright, I thought that, that bit we found in there was probably a bit out of that bearing, but not so it's probably something else a bit more sinister going on in here that's it it's only parts oh, all right the way that is starting to turn 
too shite. So, rattle gun that off. Um, seven eighths or something, maybe. And I'll probably be, be it for the day. I'll wrap that in a tarp and <clears throat> she'll be done. about the lock washers they're all toast anyway lucky last oh, get on there nope. Heavy. That's right. I'll go around through the hole for the starter. I'll get some nice pry point. There's a line of dowels on this, so that's why they're a bit funny to get off. Come on, off you come. Slowly. Just come off. It's also easy if you can figure out where the dowel is. That's usually where you have to pry from. off all right well, that's off the ring gear is ooh, pretty worn to be expected to be expected well that's not too bad I haven't found anything really nasty in there that'll need going through definitely a lot of wear on those the adjusters on the fingers I wonder can I buy them she's definitely got a new set of them <sighs> no that's probably about it for this one we made a mess but we're making progress so yeah I think that's about all I've got to add so 
like, share, subscribe, you know, all the usual stuff they tell you. Um, yeah, next video, probably be pulling, mounting on a stand, pulling sump, pistons, all the, all the good stuff. Still working out where I'm actually going to do that. It might end up being just here, I don't know. Because space is at a premium at the moment. But, oh well, you get that. Alright, have fun. I'll see you in the next one.